I am happy to be able to say that I had that wonderful experience in Berlin with you when you were conducting the Philharmonic and recording the Mahler Ninth Symphony for us. And you're now, I know, regarded in a lot of places in the world as a Mahler specialist. And I was wondering when you started first conducting Mahler symphonies. Well, as a matter of fact, Ronnie, I owe that entirely to Neville Carter's. Really? Mm. Who, who must be about uh, ten years ago now, came to me one day and said, John, he said, you must take up the Mahler symphonies. Yes. They were written for you. Mm. And you've got the only orchestra in the country that can make the right sound <laughs> for them. Yes, yes. And I must say, I became fascinated. Yes. And more and more fascinated. And curiously enough, I chose the ninth as my first venture Did you really? into yes. the yes. field of Mara. Where was that? In Manchester. In Manchester, yes. And I got Neville to come up and talk about it. Yes. Because it was entirely unknown there. Of course. And it, it's a prodigious difficulty. Yes. But I still think, in the point of fact, a purely musical content mm. is perhaps the greatest of yes. all the symphonies. Yes, I agree. I felt that from yes. the beginning. Yes, yes. I've enjoyed so much all the others. Yes. But he's... And then another reason that, that, that led me to more and more devotion, shall we say, mm. to Mahler, yes. is that the fact we must acknowledge, and all my great colleagues do today, there's no really great music, purely orchestral music being written today. Mm. So... I've done my full share of Chilton festivals and, yes. and bringing all these yes. things. Now I think I've reached the age when I deserve to devote myself to great music that it is yet comparatively unknown. Yes, indeed. You see, if, you, if you've heard Mahler ad nauseum, you say, why play so much yes. Mahler? But yes. since the majority yes. of people don't know no. hardly any of it mm. at all, I, know. I think I my energies are much better devoted yes. there well, to play music that nobody really particularly yes. wants to hear. Yes, because I noticed even in Berlin that they apparently don't play it a very great deal. No! I was, I, I, before this recording, I'd done it with the Berlin Orchestra about uh, 18 months yes. before. Yes. And they were not at all keen to do it. Mm. Strazerman told me this yes. afterwards. Yes. But yes. he said, you know, they're very devoted to you. Yes. They said, well, if he wants to play Marlon, I let him <laughs> play it. Yes. That yes. was rather the spirit. Yes. And of course, they were conquered by it. Yes, absolutely. And, and the orchestra, too, personally told me the various members how thrilled they were oh, to do this is. work and it, to do it with you. And also your performance of the fourth in the Philharmonic Hall was yes. an enormous success. Yes. Very, very beautiful performance. And, uh, you know, I believe the actor said it, I shouldn't say this myself, that it was the best Mahler heard in a decade. Well, well, I, well quite a few people must have played <laughs> a Mahler symphony there. I'm sure they done. have, but they were right all the same, because it was an most enormous success. Have you any special favourites among the symphonies other than the ninth? I mean, which ones otherwise oh, yes, are your I mean, special favourites? I, I love the first mm. two. Yes. And, uh, and the fourth has got... Uh, they've all got their own particular... Characters and character. qualities, yes. And it's curious enough, at first, you know, when you start to learn them, it, you find it very difficult because of that, these continuous changes of yes. mood and tempo, yes. which at the same time you have to m mold into a great hole. That's the of great course. difficulty. Yes. But yes. that the, the difficulty becomes less as you go on. You remember Ernest Newman invented that wonderful word, the footprints of a yes. composer. Yes. And when you get to know them, mm. you can discern them even when the snow is very thick and they, they, yes. they're not very discernible. Indeed. <laughs> Have you any plans for any more recordings in Berlin? Have you thought out yes, any possibilities? Yes, I'm, I'm going back there next June. I can't go in my usual January period because they're then touring America. Oh, yes. Mm. And so they've invited me for June. Mm. And I must say, I feel terribly flattered that they've asked for, for Marla and Bruckner. Splendid. You know, from a French Italian cockney, <laughs> that's not a bad point to arrive at. 
Yes. They were very keen to do the second. Yes. But apparently you've recorded that. Yes. You know, there's so many recordings yes. that they would like, that they very wisely, mm -hmm. Mr. Andre thought, yes. to do something that is not so much recorded. And they would like to do the seventh. Yes. 